Hello all, in this video we will see how to pair two numbers HC05 Bluetooth modules and then transmit data wirelessly between them. By default all uh, HC05 modules are slaves which means it cannot pair with other module. It needs a master to get paired with. We will be using CP2102 USB to TTL module as well as Arduino to configure this uh, HC05 modules. And then we'll see how to transmit uh, digital data as well as analog data. Most of the modules available in the market have a button like this on the front of the module. And uh, it has got a 3.3 volt onboard regulator. So you can safely use 5 volt as power source. On the back side you can see state pin as well as enable pin. State is used uh, to indicate the status of the uh, module. And enable is not used if there is a button on the front. This button is used to enter the AT mode. You remove the power and then pr press and hold this button and then uh, apply the power to enter the AT mode. When you press this button uh, to pin 34, that is the key, a high is applied and then the module enters the AT mode uh, on 38400 baud. 38400 is the default baud rate of HC05 module. For uh, serial communication, RX, TX ground pins are there. Power supply can be uh, given as 5 volt as there is onboard 3.3 volt regulator. The RX, TX pins are 3.3 volt uh, logic levels. The TX pin can be connected directly to RX of Arduino. But to RX, uh, you need to provide some uh, level shifters. Either you can use a 3.3 volt. Uh, Zener as a clipper or you can use one series resistor 1k and a 2k2 to uh, ground this acts as a level shifter for uh, short duration uh, this is not uh, required so in this uh, demo I am not using this level shifter it seems to be 5 volt uh, tolerant first let us configure one of the module as slave using CP2102 USB to TTL uh, module. This USB to TTL module is built on uh, CP2102 IC and the CP2102 driver should be installed on your PC so that uh, it recognizes uh, when it is connected to the USB port. The connection between HC05 module and uh, USB to TTL is simple. Uh, VCC to 5V, ground to ground. TX uh, should go to RX and RX uh, goes to TX. Now plug in the CP2102 module on to your USB port of PC. If driver is installed, your PC will recognize it. Now the HC05 module enters the discovery mode which is indicated by the fast blinking of status LED. To enter into AT command, just uh, pull out the power, press and hold the button while uh, keeping on pressing just apply the power and then release the button now the HC05 module has entered the AT mode under baud rate 38400 now open the device manager of your PC and then note on the COM port allotted to the CP2102 module we will be using a uh, serial monitor uh, like uh, cool term to speak with this uh, USB to TTL module. Open the cool term serial monitor and then under settings uh, ensure that the correct uh, COM port is selected and baud rate is 38400, data bit is 8, parity none and stop bit is 1 and under terminal uh, setting ensure that CR plus uh, LF is selected that is carriage written and line feed to every AT command a carriage written and line feed is applied click on OK and then uh, click on the connect button to open the serial monitor now type in AT the HC05 module will respond with OK AT plus version and a question mark will return the version of the HC05 module some of the uh, AT commands will not work that for example AT plus name question mark will give no response in that case pr press and hold the button 
and then enter the command now you will get the response at plus orgl is like a factory reset uh, and the at plus rm aad which removes the any previous uh, linked connections these two commands are like factory reset at plus orgl and at plus rm aad at plus pswd question mark will return the password of the module 1234 do not change this password uh, for master and slave password should be same at plus ur question mark will return the baud rate of the module 38400 comma 0 comma 0 which means 38400 8 uh, data bit and one stop bit at plus role question mark will return the role of the hc05 uh, module by default it is slave so we are not going to change this at plus addr question mark will return the address of the uh, hc05 module which is the mac address open a notepad and copy this mac address and paste on to it replace all the colon with uh, comma this address is required uh, while configuring with the while pairing with the master and then give the uh, we'll change the name as at plus name equal to bt slave we are changing the name of the module to bt slave now the configuration to slave is uh, over now let us uh, configure the another module as uh, master for which we will be using uh, Arduino Uno for configuration purpose the RST pin of uh, you know should be ground, uh, connected to ground uh, this will bypass the bootloader of the ATmega328 IC you can either upload an empty sketch or you can connect RST to ground which will bypass the bootloader and only the serial IC is used and the connection is uh, direct not reverse uh, you should be careful that is uh, RX to RX TX to uh, TX and then ground to ground the connections are straight in this configuration mode and the RST of uh, Arduino is connected to ground the power to HC05 module is taken from the Arduino itself. Uh, VCC goes to 5 volt and the ground to ground. The 3.3 volt uh, pin is nearby, so be careful to use uh, 5 volt. Now plug in the uh, USB cable uh, to Arduino. The HC05 module, uh, the LED will blink fast, indicating that it is in discovery mode. Now pull out the power, keep pressing the button and then provide the power. Now the module will enter the AT mode. The slow blinking indicates that it has entered the AT mode. Now open the device manager. Note on the COM port allotted to the Arduino Uno. Open the Arduino IDE. Uh, select the COM port as the one uh, seen in the device manager. The board is Arduino you know, and then open the serial monitor. Select the board rate as 38400 and both NL and CR should be uh, selected. Type in AT. Now the HC05 module will return with uh, OK response. AT plus ORGL for uh, original reset and AT plus RM AAD for factory reset. Let us change the name to BT master using the command AT plus name equal to BT master. AT plus name and question mark uh, will not return anything. You have to keep pressing the uh, button to remain in the AT mode. Now you will get the response, uh, AT plus name response. Uh, AT plus role equal to 1 uh, changes the mode to master. Default is uh, 0. Now we are changing it to AT plus role equal to 1. And AT plus C mode uh, equal to 0. This makes the module to bind only with the linked uh, address. Now use the command AT plus link and then copy the MAC address we have seen earlier of the slave module. AT plus link equal to make MAC address gives error. So let us use the command AT plus bind. AT plus bind equal to MAC address. 
now it is okay at plus bind and a question mark will return the mac address of the bound uh, slave module the configuration for master is over now connect the power source to slave module and watch out for the led blinking initially the led will blink in uh, discovery mode that is fast blinking once when it gets uh, pad the leds will blink in sync the module uh, modules are pad now if you pull out the power from one of the module the other module will enter the discovery mode indicated by the fast blinking of led once you give back the power it will be automatically pad now let us see a practical demo uh, these are the pad modules master and slave modules at the master side we'll be using a, a switch for uh, digital uh, data sending and at the receiver side uh, only one led is there for analog send we'll be using one potentiometer now let us uh, see the receiver side that is the slave side Uh, five volt is connected to the top rail of uh, uh, breadboard, ground to uh, bottom rail of breadboard. One LED is plugged onto the breadboard. To the cathode, one K resistor is connected to ground, and to anode uh, is connected to digital pin eight, D eight. here we'll be using the slave uh, bluetooth module the power source uh, that is uh, vcc is sub uh, connected to the top rail 5 volt ground is connected to the bottom rail uh, ground pin tx goes to rx and rx goes to tx always in communication mode uh, the connections are reverse tx to rx and rx to tx now plug in the usb cable to arduino the slave module will get the power and it will start uh, blinking indicating that it is in discovery mode the slave wiring is over now now let us see the master side connection one push button is uh, used this push button uh, when you press this switch this both these pins will uh, get connected so when you provide power to one pin on pressing the switch the power will be available at the other pin at the other pin side we connect a anode of led cathode of led to ground through a 1k resistor and to the first pin of switch we provide the 5 volt supply Five volt and ground taken from Arduino itself. Now, when you press the switch, the five volt is available at the other end, uh, which will make the LED glow. Let us take the connection at this point, that is the anode point of uh, LED. So, let us connect a wire and provide to digital pin nine. Now let us connect the master uh, Bluetooth module. VCC to 5 volt, ground to ground, TX to RX and RX to TX. Remember while uh, uploading the code, we have to remove this TX and RX wires. Otherwise you will get error. Now provide the USB cable to this uh, Arduino. Now the master module will uh, enter into discovery mode and as the slave's power is on both will get pad it is indicated by the sync uh, glowing of this leds this is the transmit side code for uh, digital send we define the button uh, we define pin 8 as button and inside the setup uh, we uh, declare this button as input using pin mode and then we start the serial communication with 38400 baud inside the void loop we use the digital read to read the state of the button and assign it to button state and we use the serial dot print uh, and if the value of the button state is high we use serial dot print to send a character 1 and if it is low we will send a character 0 
notice that we are sending as character and not just as one and zero this is the receiver side code where we uh, define the pin 9 as led pin and inside void setup we define this uh, we make this pin as output using pin mode and then uh, serial dot begin 38400 inside void loop we check out for the availability of the serial data and then assign it to state and if state is uh, 1 we make the uh, pin as 1 so that LED will glow and if it is slow LED will be off now let us upload the code the transmit side code to master and uh, slave side code for receive code while uploading the code uh, remember to remove the rx and tx wires and then open the serial monitors on both the ides initially zero will be transmitted and while uh, while you press the switch one will be transmitted it is uh, received at the slave side so this is the digital transmission and reception now let us see the analog uh, transmit for this we will be using a potentiometer this potentiometer has got uh, three leads the center lead is the variable lead which is connected to A0 of uh, Arduino the first pin is connected to 5 volt and the last pin is connected to ground so if you uh, vary the potentiometer uh, the value at the center pin will change from 0 to 5 volt this is connected to the uh, A0 of Arduino which is the analog read analog input this is connected to A0 that is the analog input of Arduino to which the center pin of potentiometer is connected first pin of potentiometer to 5 volt and the last pin to ground notice the sync uh, blinking of LEDs on the Bluetooth modules indicating that still they are in the pad mode now let us see the transmit code for analog data this is a very simple code inside wide setup we start uh, the serial monitor with uh, 38400 baud serial communication and inside a wide loop we use the analog read to read the value of uh, a0 and assign it to port value and then we map the uh, port value to a value between 0 and 255 and use serial dot write uh, to transmit the port value notice the use of serial dot write which transmits as ascii value this is the analog receive side code this is also a simple code inside wide setup we start the serial communication at 38400 baud and then if serial dot uh, serial is available we assign the serial dot uh, read to data and then uh, just we use the analog write to uh, to write the value on led that is uh, if you turn the potentiometer the leds brightness will vary turning the potentiometer will vary the voltage between 0 to 5 this uh, is transmitted through bluetooth and the led's brightness varies accordingly thank you for watching